Welcome back. This morning, we are continuing our conversation about the importance of clinical trials, and especially in the field of dermatology. And that's why we are happy to welcome back Patricia Delgado to the show this morning. Of course, she's with Academic Alliance in Dermatology. That's where we first met her uh, a little while ago. And then now she's also representing this morning Olympian Clinical Research, uh, which is part of the group as well. Good morning. So good to see you again. Good morning, Carly. Thank you. Good to see you too. I'm glad we're talking more about this arm of clinical research because this is fascinating to me. And I think a lot of times we sometimes really don't really understand maybe how different prescription dr and drugs come to be. And I love that this is um, a local team that's uh, exploring new options for people. Tell us a little bit about that. So, so yes, our office is here on North Havana Avenue and we have multiple studies going on at the same time. Uh, currently, we have studies uh, involving atopic dermatitis, hydradenitis suppurativa, vitiligo. We also have some psychiatric uh, treatment studies for Alzheimer's and major depressive disorder. Um, and we have an upcoming schizophrenia study as well. Wow. So talk to, I know you want to talk about one in particular this morning, but talk about the benefits of uh, getting um, to be a part of these clinical trials. Because again, I want to be honest, sometimes I think when you hear, oh, I'm going to be the part of a clinical trial, it might be a little scary or you might be a little nervous to, to sign up for one at first. Mm -hmm. And that is completely understandable. You know, when you think of a medication or a treatment being studied and tested, you know, it kind of makes you think of you know animal studies or things of that nature but once the studies get to us we are phase three and phase four trials so there's already a wealth of knowledge about the treatments or the medication being studied so the the person that is interested in volunteering for a study would read through the entire informed consent form which will list any known possible side effects that we already know about the medication or the treatment, any information that we have about it so far, any possible lab changes that could potentially occur. And throughout these studies, the participants are observed very closely to make sure that nothing you know, out of the ordinary is taking place and everyone is taken care of if anything does occur. Yeah, you mentioned there are several uh, that are going on right now. There's one in particular you wanted to mention. What is that one? So yes, currently one of our dermatology studies is to treat vitiligo. Um, if you're not uh, familiar with vitiligo, it's an autoimmune condition where your own immune system basically at attacks the melanocytes or the pigment cells in your skin. So the way it would present are white patches on the skin that progressively spread and increase in size uh, until you know, it takes over basically the entire body. There is no cure for it right now, which is why it's so important for us to be studying treatments for it. Um, even though it really just affects the skin, it, it can take a toll on patients' quality of life and just how they feel about themselves. So that's why these studies are so important. And currently, our study is for a cream. So it is a JAK inhibitor cream. All right, would it stop the, I guess, prevent the spread of it? So, so yes, it would prevent the spread and basically just slow it down. And it okay. is just a cream that the person would use. And right so if now- So if you know someone who has this right now, could they essentially be a part of this trial? Yes, absolutely. So we are currently recruiting children and adults between the ages of 12 to 40. So I think we've maxed out with our participants of over the age of 40, and we actually need especially more children and adolescents between 12 and 17. Anyone interested in participating should have a vitiligo patch on their face, but if you're not sure if you have the condition or not, you are more than welcome to call us and you can schedule a pre-screening visit where we kind of go over everything with you. We will check you. It's basically a, you know, like a dermatology visit where we'll check your condition and see if you are a candidate and we can go over everything with you before you sign anything. And again, that's just one study I know of many. Patricia, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much, Carly. Thanks for having me. And we, of course, will put all that info on our website too. Thank you, Patricia. Thanks.